And welcome back again today to WCCF Tech TV. This is Keith again, and we've got more information and official slides that have leaked out for Radeon RX Vega, including a picture of the new RX Vega Nano. Well, at least that's what we're assuming the name is going to be. But with that out of the way, let's jump into what we found out. We are going to see Radeon RX Vega with the Radeon pack. Now, what is this Radeon pack? This is a, it's a bundle that they're going to be offering for Radeon or the RX Vega GPUs. Uh, just to run through it, you've got a Radeon Aqua pack with an RX Vega 64 liquid cooled for $699. The Radeon Black pack with the Radeon v RX Vega 64 air cooled for $599 and a Radeon Red pack with an RX Vega 56 for $499. Now the Radeon RX Vega 64 liquid air and reference models will be shipping with these packs. These starting at the price range of $499 for the US reference model which grants you two free games being Wolfenstein and the new Prey title. The higher priced Radeon Black pack for $599 grants you the game and a $100 US discount. Uh, on a Ryzen 7, what the top end Radeon Aqua Pack will get you all of the above plus $200 off of a Samsung Ultra Wide FreeSync monitor for a total of $699 US. Now, being US, I'm not sure if this is going to be available worldwide or if it's limited to US only. But we did get a couple slides coming out of here showing the graphics chip will be utilizing the latest 16 nanometer GFX 9 core architecture, which is based on the next compute engine design or the NCU. The Vega 10 graphics core deploys 12.5 billion transistors, and the graphics chip will feature 64 compute units, hence the RX uh, Vega 64, or 4,096 stream processors and 256 TMUs. AMD plans on increasing the throughput of the chip through inc increased clock speeds, and this will allow AMD to pump the numbers better than Fiji, which was based on, again, the 28 nanometer GCN3 that also features 4096 stream processors. And it, this time around, we do know it's coming with 8 gigs of HBM2 instead of 4 gigs of HBM. And it did. These slides did confirm that the reference model starts at 499 US with a 290 watt TDP. And it's a bit much on the TDP levels, but we did see some more of the details on it: illuminated logo and pixel, the isothermic uh, vapor chamber, a 30 millimeter fan, and solid metal construction. So that's very nice to see. That is a nice premium card. And of course, the Vega 64 liquid at 599 dollars with a 350 watt TDP. So bumps it up just a bit more, allowing for a little bit better headroom. Now we do see here where the FreeSync argument comes into play here showing, uh, especially at 4K, now they show it compared to a 980 Ti and a GTX 1080, but the 980 Ti on all fairness compares the Fury X as well, but it's showing that the Vega, R the RX Vega 64 stays within that FreeSync range that is the sweet spot for 40 to 60 hertz on a 4K monitor, showing that it could potentially offer up some very solid 4K gameplay. And in this last picture, we've got Chris Hooks standing there cheesing with the new Radeon RX Vega Nano Edition. So more to come on that one. So keep it locked here at WCCF Tech TV. This has been Keith. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative or entertaining whatsoever, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe and comment if you must. And we will catch you in the next video.